It's going to be the jewel of the neighborhood when we're done. We'll say it's kind of creepy. I still don't get why we had to move. Sometimes it's good to have a fresh start. Making new memories. <gasps> this house makes the weirdest noises. It's an old house. You get used to it. I saw the place was empty, and I didn't have any place to stay. I was a surgeon, one of the best in the world. I'm watching over you. I'm afraid that she's gonna need a heart transplant. I can't lose my baby girl. I might recommend hiring at home nurse to keep an eye on her. Dr. Beck will take care of everything. I'm Nurse McCoy, but you can call me Chris. This will do perfectly. Let me introduce you to Alex. Mm -hmm. Think of me as your personal physician, as if you're a big time celebrity and I'm on your staff. I'll need my hand back. Just checking your pulse. Have you noticed anything odd around the house? Like signs of someone else being here? Someone else being here? No. My job is to keep you safe. And if that makes me the bad guy, then I'll wear that like a badge of honor. I'd give you my heart if I could. I think someone's living in my attic. An escaped patient. Oh! Sorry to scare you. Oh my god. You've been to therapy before. Once or twice. You were having violent thoughts about harming yourself or harming others? Others, definitely. Do you ever see people who are not really there? I'm not crazy. Hi, Dr. Beck. I just don't like people poking around in my head. Get the hell out of my house! I found it, Alex. I found your heart. Scott! He's a match! What are the odds of a boy who already gave you his heart? Could literally give you his heart. Everything's gonna be fine. I've done this a million times. Name's Dr. Albert Beck. And lucky for you, I'm on call tonight. Ah!